Hi, I'm Brian Luck, Associate Professor and State Extension Specialist in Biological Systems Engineering at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. And I'm Jordan Schuler, the Southeast Regional Nutrient and Pest Management Outreach Specialist. And today we're going to talk about some precision technologies out there in the landscape. Um, one thing to keep in mind when you're thinking about choosing precision technologies for your farm um, is that there is a learning curve. It's new technology, you're definitely going to want to make sure you have the time to understand it before you go to use it in the field. Um, so two technologies that I'll be talking about today are variable rate um, applications and then section control sprayers. They kind of go hand in hand together. Both variable rate and section control sprayers are really useful tools to use on your farm um, because they can reduce the amount that you're actually applying to your field. So if you're reducing your inputs, it's automatically going to help you and your bottom line just because you're not spending as much money on the, on the chemicals on your fields. Um, one awesome thing about section control sprayers that is really useful is that you can turn it off during or when you're applying to areas that are um, environmentally sensitive. So you're talking your grass waterways, your buffer strips, um, you're able to not apply over those areas of the field, um, which mitigates runoff and kind of helps with overall water quality. Um, Interestingly enough, if you have really um, irregular shaped fields, you'll probably be more inclined to see a return on your investment um, with section control sprayers because you're reducing your overlap um, versus farms that maybe have more regular shaped square fields. Yeah, great, Jordan. So the other thing we were going to talk about today was uh, guidance, automatic guidance. So a couple of ways of implementing that on your farm. Most newer equipment comes with automated guidance. Um, and also you can buy bolt-on systems that interact with the steering wheel uh, for older equipment as well, which is really neat. Um, a lot of things people don't think about when we talk about guidance is the ability to optimize your pass-to-pass. -pass. So if you need a two-foot overlap on a tillage tool or if you want to make sure your 30-inch rows between one pass to the next on your planter, that automated guidance system will help you do that and actually guarantee it. Um, the other thing that folks don't think about when we talk about guidance as well is, is operator fatigue. So if you are in that tractor trying to hold a straight row, stay on a marker line, look back and make sure the, the implement's doing what it's supposed to, at the end of the day, you're gonna be more tired as if, rather than if you were in the tractor watching that machine go and being able to look back and make sure things are doing what it is and it's driving itself. So another one that I like to talk about is planter technology. We've done quite a bit of research on that here at UW-Madison, looking at uh, closing wheels down force, uh, different depth control things. Implementation of that plus section control on your planter is probably one of the um, quicker ROIs that I've seen in precision ag technology. Just saving on seed alone, not planting into uh, areas that you've already planted, maintaining proper spacing between seeds and keeping that seeding exactly where you want it at the right depth and everything so that your emergence is good. The last thing I'll spend a little time on here is ag data. So we're talking about yield monitors with combine we're standing next to here. Uh, being able to do your soil sampling with GPS locations and maintain that data set on your farm over the years. Initially, if you do it for one year, you're not going to see a lot of value in it, but that over time thing. So as you're collecting this data over time, you can start to see trends in these maps that we're making, yield maps and um, fertility maps and everything else, and be able to manage your operation uh, optimally. So a lot of times when we talk about precision ag, we're not necessarily managing to optimize yield, we're managing to optimize profit. So if an area doesn't need the fertilizer, don't put it out there. If the area needs less or more seed, put it out there to maintain your yield and, and optimize your profit on your farm. I think technology in the end is sort of a, a by farm basis is what sort of Jordan and I are getting at with this. In the end, we want to use the technologies that we need to optimize our system, maintain our profitability and make our lives easier. 